Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a comparison video between the Nike CTR360 Maestri Elite or Regular, whatever you want to call it and the Mizuno Supersonic Wave 2 Now, you might be asking why am I comparing these two The reason I am comparing them is because they're really the only two boots that implement um, memory foam in the upper as like kind of a control element, I guess you could call it, right? So, just want to talk a little about a little bit about how each of these shoes implements uh, memory foam, and if it does in fact work or not. Now, the CTR 360 is made of a can primarily Kangol it is a Kangolite upper, which is Nike's synthetic upper that's basically supposed to mimic uh, the feel of kangaroo leather, and it actually does a pretty good job. Um, here you guys see I have the Elite version of the CTR360 but the same upper is on that version as well as the regular version so there's no difference at all in terms of upper um, the Kangolite is very soft and it's not exactly kangaroo leather but it's pretty close for a synthetic and it's probably the best synthetic leather material that you can get um, these two big pads you see here are where the memory foam is implemented and as you can see if you can see this uh, lump it's actually a pretty thick piece of memory foam here these two triangles it's a pretty thick uh, piece of memory foam so when you do touch the ball there it is it definitely does dampen their touch on the ball that's basically the idea of the memory foam is to really provide that extra cushion on the ball and I really do feel like it does help your touch I think it it is thick enough and covers enough area where that if you are going to take the ball down from the air this will dampen the ball the impact of the ball and your foot a fair amount that it will definitely improve your touch like if you if you had uh, if you stood there and let the ball hit your foot with this shoe I can guarantee you that it would dampen a lot less than if you wore like a thin synthetic like an Addy Zero so it definitely does work and I'm definitely a fan of the CTR um, the Mizuno Supersonic Wave implements uh, memory foam as well but a little bit differently uh, this boot is primarily a kangaroo leather upper which is uh, it covers pretty much the whole boot um, the memory foam is implemented by putting it either in between or underneath the, the leather I'm not exactly sure how Mizuno did it but if you can, it's, you can't really see, but on this out, out step, so from here all the way around, then you see this seam that goes right here to there, is where there would be thin memory foam. So every single part of the boot here is very thin memory foam, and it provides just a little bit of cushion uh, for basically what Mizuno did with this boot is created a boot that's supposed to be good for dribbling not so much for touch like the CTR is marketed as and then the instep here which goes from the edge of the Mizuno label uh, logo to this stitch and then on this side of the stitch you can see that there's thicker padding it's thicker padded leather because there's also thicker memory foam inside of this uh, in between these stitches so you have a little bit more padding on the instep so basically you're getting a thinner outstep outstep for dribbling and a, a thicker instep for a little bit of more control when touching the ball and stuff. And does it work? Yes, it does work. Does it feel too far off from kangaroo leather? Not a whole lot, but you can tell there's a difference there. And overall, these shoes both do a really good job of implementing memory foam. And I really think it's, it's, it's one of the ways of the future as far as soccer shoes go because it's a technology that really can help your touch if implemented correctly because it adds very little bulk it's very lightweight and it's very effective um, if you're interested in seeing a review of either of these shoes guys I'll leave a link in the description to both of the full written reviews um, the review for the CTR360 the regular version and the elite version is already up and has been up so definitely click the link in the description and check that out there will be high quality pictures as well so if you want to see that click those links and you, uh, it'll, it'll be there um, the Mizuno Supersonic Wave is still currently I'm still currently testing it so the view is not up but it will be up in about 
most likely less than a week so keep checking back if you're really interested in seeing this review and as well guys there's high quality pictures there so if you want to see get a good idea what this shoe looks like go click that link also guys I'm on Facebook now go like my Facebook page there's going to be an upcoming giveaway in the next month or so so go like the Facebook page if you were, you're interested in that giveaway because it will be a Facebook exclusive giveaway so go check that out links in the description to that also guys I'm on Xbox Live now my account name is Josh Vujo I'll leave that information in the description as well um, basically guys if you want to add me as a friend let me know you're from YouTube I'll accept your friend request and if you guys see that I'm on I've got a microphone add me to your party and we can talk if you have any questions Anything you want to ask me about soccer shoes or anything anything you want to talk about, feel free to ask me. If you want to play some FIFA 12, that's cool too. I'll be happy to join a party with you guys. Last thing guys, make sure you guys comment, rate, favorite, subscribe to my videos guys. It really helps me out. The more you guys support me, the more content I can put out. Expect to see a lot of cool stuff in the next month or so. So thanks for the support guys and thanks for watching.